Hi Cancer, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for March. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit that button and hit the bell, then you'll be notified. If you don't want to be notified, then please just subscribe and it will be saved in your library and you can find us back much quicker and easier. So um, I'm going to introduce in Dutch as well, so skip that intro if you uh, don't understand Dutch because there's some changes to the channel as we are growing rapidly, lovely, thank you very much my beautiful cyber angels and well, and thanks for coming back and supporting the channel the way you do and I, it's just amazing how lovely the tea room is and can be so if you're new then please join us and I'm using the Angel Romance deck uh, from uh, Doreen Virtue, the Archangel Michael deck and also the Angel Feather deck for this month um, as you know there is a, most probably there is a video out with news and updates um, and that the, uh, that I have done an interview with uh, a real life witch what does what is witchcraft what does a witch do and we have discussions on the oracle the witch's oracle deck which is also amazing and beautiful there's also a review that of that in the playlists and on the website so the, all the information is below this video and you can get into contact with me uh, there or you can go right here there's a little white dot with an eye in it and if you click on that it will take you straight through to the website and there you can see all the reviews as well and the news and also see the different uh, types of readings that are on offer and there is a special offer if you have uh, an extensive reading then you can come back and uh, get an update within six so long it's within six months for example so it's worth your while to go and have a look at the website and the uh, live, se uh, live sessions the tea room will be open for English language only on Monday and Friday if you've got a specific uh, question and you need a quick answer then you can do super chat or super sticker and I will answer your question with three cards and an oracle card okay now I'm going to translate this in Dutch and I hope to see you in the live sessions on Friday and Monday and if you can speak Dutch then you're more than welcome as well on Wednesday okay my cyber angels take care and I love you loads please share and like and give us the thumbs up together we stand strong remember that thank you and the reading will start after the Dutch so skip the Dutch and then uh, get go straight on to the reading and enjoy Hallo iedereen en als je nieuw bent, hallo en welkom bij deze, dit kanaal, Charlie's Angel Tarot. En even een introductie in Nederlands. Um, wij en, uh, ook uh, welkom aan mijn cyberengelen. Uh, dat zijn de trouwe kijkers en dankjewel om het te volgen, te delen en de duimpjes op te geven. En de nieuwe mensen, alsjeblieft deel en like de duimpjes op en deel dit, uh, deze video. En wordt lid en klik op de lidmaatschap knop en dan wordt het in de, de kanaal in je bibliotheek opgeslagen en dan kan je ons makkelijker terugvinden. Wil je weten wanneer ik live ga of wanneer de nieuwe video's geüpload zijn, dan klik dan ook op de bel. Wil je niet genotificeerd worden, klik dan niet op de bel. Maar er zijn wat veranderingen in de theekamer. Als je Engels kan, dan ben je welkom op maandag en vrijdag, want dat wordt de uh, live sessies in Engels, volledig in Engels gedaan en de Nederlandse is op woensdag. Zo zet het in je agenda, dan weet je dat we woensdagavond live gaan. Heb je een vraag, dan uh, beantwoord ik dit na een donatie. Zo volg de, weet je niet wat een donatie is of een superchat of een supersticker, kijk dan, uh, uh, klik dan even op de dollar teken en volg de instructies. En dan, uh, krijg je, dan beantwoord ik je specifieke vraag met drie kaarten en een orakelkaart. Wil je een volledige lezing hebben? Kijk dan even onder deze video in de omschrijvingsvakje uh, voor de uh, 
uh, voor de informatie. Of ik ga even naar dit uh, witte rondje hier uh, met de i erin en klik daarop, dan ga je gelijk door naar de website. En daar kan je ook alle herzieningen zien of de reviews zoals ze dat noemen van de decks, bijvoorbeeld van de House of Shadow, de Lenneman. Uh, je kan ook in de afspeellijsten kijken en daar kan je ook alle andere decks die ik uh, herzien heb en uitgelegd heb wat ze zijn en hoe ze werken, uh, heb ik ook op mijn website. En er zullen nog meer komen. Ik ga even naar de video kijken, nieuws en updates. Die is ook in de speellijst en daar zie je ook de nieuwe ontwikkelingen die uh, er gebeuren op dit moment. Want ik ben ook interviews aan het doen uh, buiten uh, reviews. Even een slokje nemen van mijn koffie, sorry. Uh, ik ben, uh, ben ook een beetje te laat met de romanslezingen, uh, omdat er zoveel te doen is en ontwikkelingen zijn. Oké, okay, nu ga ik terug naar Engels en uh, ik hoop dat je deze lezing leuk vindt. Even delen met vrienden en familie en geef me de duimpjes op. En uh, dan ga ik nu terug naar Engels en ik zie je in de live op woensdagavond. En als je Engels kan, ook op maandag en vrijdag als jullie dat leuk vinden. Of vindt ze. Een fijn weekend alvast en hier gaan we. Okay, hi everybody, and here we're going to start with the romance vlog for the week. And first of all, you have pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, wakey wakey. This doesn't have to be bad news, it can also be good news. Just watch for the, in other words, it's saying, watch out. There are signs. There are signs of somebody might fancy you, or there is a sign that somebody has an issue that they would like to discuss. Perhaps um, it could be um, that somebody is going out and they want, uh, there are already signs that they want a permanent relationship, an extensive relationship. Um, so that they might want to ask to get married or get engaged. Usually you see people getting nervous or fidgety or um, acting strangely. Those are the red flags in a nice sense. But there could also be red flags um, in uh, the negative sense, like watch out. There, there, there could be signs um, showing you that somebody is not uh, feeling very well. They're not in the, in the right way in their own skin. Well, we've got the uh, House of Shadow uh, Oracle deck, but this is also a Lenormand deck, but it's got 42 cards and this is number 39, so that is number 12. So be creative because that becomes a 3. Now the hand speaks of destiny. Which way are you going to go? And you have somebody sitting on the thumb and looking at the hand as a map. Okay, these are the lines. This is palmistry. When you read palmistry, you've got all these signs. Um, I do read hands, but I don't look for the signs. I look for other things. Uh, I also use my intuition when I read palms. I don't like reading palms because uh, it's not my thing. <laughs> I think it's very complex and I must say I do not know the ground rules for palmistry but I do I have read hands from people and it was uh, quite accurate, accurate. I use more my intuition. Okay well the hand means destiny. Where do you want to go? Where are you? And that somebody might have like I said, other ideas than you. You might not want to get engaged. Um, it will take the uh, relationship up a next level. So watch out for red flags. What is your destiny? Although we can ex exercise free will during our lives, there are many things that are believed to be predetermined pre and beyond our control. Those are the red flags. Okay. When this card appears, Look to the surrounding cards to determine what appears to be your fate 
as opposed to what is in your control. Yeah. You might want to get together, that is what your destiny is, or that's what you wish your destiny to be. And somebody else might have other ideas, so those are the red flags. So talk to each other and see what is what. So pay attention for warnings, that is what the red flags are saying here. In the second week, you've got a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now, we've got the tower here, and the tower is different in Lenamon than in the tarot. And uh, the tower in Lenamon means ambition. If you uh, um, you are ambitious, there's nothing wrong with a ambition. You want to get to the top. But don't forget the people around you, okay? Um, because if you get to the top and you reach the summit, then um, it could be very lonesome. So pay attention to the things that are happening around you, the red flags. Again, a warning. Don't leave the people that love you and support you. Uh, don't forget them make time for them. It, this could also be that you are moving upwards in a ne to a next level in your relationship because the tower is tall and high. <coughs> um, also the tower in Lenamon according to this author means a mature man so you might have a mature man that you have as a partner or that is interested in you that could be the red flags and of course it hap uh, this is a romance reading but this could also be talking about moving into a high-rise building but this is a romance reading and we haven't got any ca other cards suggesting a move <coughs> excuse me the tower in the uh, tarot means unexpected changes. So I always keep that in my mind. Unexpected changes. Something wasn't built on a proper foundation. Here you can see that the tower is standing straight and on a proper foundation. That's the difference. And the tower in the tarot is the top is falling apart because it's struck by lightning and people are falling off. So it is a downfall. So be careful. That could be the red flags. Keep it in the back of your mind. If something is, um, your intuition is shouting at you or you, an idea has come into your head, watch out, watch out, watch out. Make sure that this is your soulmate, that it is built on a proper foundation. If you get warnings like that, pay he <coughs> pay uh, attention to that. This can grow, this relationship, because if he, they are your soulmate, it will be an everlasting relationship. You've got 19 here, so there is an end of a phase. So that is also saying heat, take heat. Take the warning of red flags. There is a new beginning, like I said, a next step up. If you um, um, if you pay attention to the red flags or the warning, then you can make it last. You must know what you want, how you, which destiny do you want? <coughs> okay. In the third week, we've got separation. And the separation card means not divorce, it means that somebody might be going on holiday um, or go on a business trip. This is only time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you will be, for whatever reason, you could be separated for a while. Okay, I mean you could be separated for an hour, two hours, they might have a doctor's appointment or an appointment with the bookkeeper or whatever. Or they might have to go and visit their parents uh, because they're elderly and they need some care or attention. And the card to um, clarify the 
the romance card is the fox it's like somebody's wearing a mask so heed the warning there might be things around you happening it doesn't have to be you and it doesn't have to be your partner if you're hooked up but there are, could be somebody around you that's jealous that is uh, sly or mean so be forewarned is forearmed that is the red flags there might be somebody trying to niggle in between you and your partner there are always jealous people around because of ambitious perhaps ambitions uh, on how well you are doing um, or your partner in this case so I think uh, you are definitely planning your your life and your destiny you have you are aiming for a soulmate you want a long-term relationship even if you are hooked up um, you want a long-term relationship and you don't want the third person to um, come between you look at this and this is how I read it it might be a, 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 a puppet or a puppet but this there are three people in or three two people and I would take that as a person as well there are three people in the picture so be careful of sly people it's like a uh, like snake in the grass slithery smoothie somebody's wearing a mask around you okay so be warned but the f uh, fox also means work and there will be separation f of work okay if the if it is with regards to romance and not work um, uh, what you call it let's have a look I've lost it and that's how fast the pictures come into my mind and the, the voices this could be somebody at work or at your work or at their work that is um, being jealous or sly and I also get the saying a fox sheds its fur but not its habits so be careful then we've got a past life a relationship okay if you're not hooked up somebody could come back from the past from a past life uh, an other life this could be in your kindergarten every face in our life is an other sort of life a life alone a life within the family you have known each other before so this could be somebody coming in and that could be the fox so that is the warning and then we have the ghost the ghost is um, there's 36 cards usually in um, the Lenemon deck and this is number 41 the ghost and I love this deck because of all the ghosty and the Adams um, things in the cards like the Adams family on TV and talking about somebody from the past okay this the ghost means memories you might have memories from the past so let's go into this card it's 41 so that's a 5 so that means you might be out of balance because your partner is not here there is a separation how do your memories affect you whether you are nostalgic or haunted by past actions you need to access the ghosts in your world this card suggests that memories of your past are currently affecting how you see yourself in the world and may be preventing you from moving forward unrestricted living in the moment with gratitude is suggested so be thankful for what you've got if you've if don't compare your present partner um, uh, to somebody in the past you must settle your um, issues your ghosts from the past so you can carry on be strong stand your ground and be strong walk away from negative people and if somebody comes back from the past then you know their tricks don't fall into their the same pattern as then you are safe now you are in a safe relationship so long you make it clear them to your partner 
uh, what you want C keep the communications going understand know your boundaries um, also know what they want and their boundaries because look at the bottom of the card you've got the anchor is this relationship going to last yes but you have to work at it the anchor means coming home to a safe haven yes he will come home to you or she will come home to you uh, to a safe haven that's how you feel and that's how they feel that's why it is your soulmate and the third party cannot come in between you two so long you trust each other and you're there for each other so deal uh, with the past put the past behind you so that you can carry on and build this relationship and stand strong okay but learn from the past don't let the past affect you let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others but don't listen to gossip now we've got an action card because it's red and it's this Archangel Michael card boundaries what did I tell you we were talking about boundaries and communication draw a line in the sand Archangel Michael hands you his sword it is time to set an energetic boundary by symbolically drawing a line in the sand so let this person from the past if they come back let and it's not your choice that you want to carry on with them then set your boundaries say sorry I'm in a relationship now and I feel safe the part and know what the past was all about are you going to break up if, if that's a question or are you going to leave this re present relationship for a past person a person from the past the answer is no because you've got the safe haven and you will ask help from others to protect you if need be if this person keeps on bothering you it's the a, a black angel feather and you can wear black you can eat black yes what is black that you can eat licorice and you can meditate on the color okay now you've got all the angels here you've got Uriel you've got Raphael you've got Gabriel you've got um, Haniel you've got Jovial uh, you've got uh, Archangel Michael you've got Raziel and you've got Shamiel um, all those angels you've got all the angels protecting you because the color black is the the color some people say it isn't a color but it's combined of all the colors in the rainbow so you are not alone you stand in your power heed the red flags take heed of the red flags and warnings that are coming towards you especially people that are slithery and sly okay cancer this is was your reading I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, stay strong and enjoy your mar month March and sorry I was late please share and like and I'll see you on Monday night and Friday night in the live sessions and if I don't I'll see you in the next video thank you okay dankjewel iedereen om hier te zijn en geef even de duimpjes op en even delen met familie en vrienden en ik hoop dat je een mooie maand maart hebt en ik zie je op woensdagavond in de live en als het niet in de live is dan zie ik je weer terug in de volgende video Wees gezegend. Ciao, ciao.